First of all, if you've made it to the egg collection phase, then a massive congratulations. This is often a big milestone in your IVF journey. By now, you may be feeling bloated and wondering if you can do anything to make yourself more comfortable. Well, stay tuned as I'm going to discuss bloating after egg collection and share my top tips to reduce the impact. Hello, if this is our first time connecting, welcome. My name is Melanie McRice and I'm a fertility and prenatal dietitian. I help couples boost their fertility and give their babies the best start possible with the power of good food. Make sure that you connect with me on my socials. You'll find all of the details in the description box below this video. Mild bloating is a common side effect of the egg retrieval process. And this is often because your ovaries have been stimulated to grow more follicles than they would under non IVF conditions. Also, some of the drugs that you need to take during the egg retrieval process itself can cause bloating as they increase the risk of constipation. Bloating may also be a sign of ovarian overstimulation syndrome, also known as OHSS. If you've been diagnosed with OHSS, check out my Nourish episode on this topic for more information as the treatment for bloating in this instance is different. Now, while you can't do much to avoid bloating from having multiple follicles, you can make small changes to your diet and lifestyle to minimize the pressure on your gut. My first tip is to eat plenty of whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. These foods have plenty of fiber and will help to keep your digestive system moving. This will help to prevent or minimize the impact of constipation caused by the medications and minimize the pressure on your gut. Next, is to lower your salt intake. Research shows that diets high in salt can increase bloating, although the exact mechanisms aren't clear. It may have to do with water retention. To lower your salt intake, avoid the salt shaker and keep processed foods to a minimum as they tend to be higher in salt. My next tip is to drink plenty of water. Water can help keep the gut moving and you should be aiming for at least two liters each day. Tip number four is to avoid sugar alcohols, as these are processed in the gut where bacteria break them down and produce gas, which increases the pressure on your gut. Look at the labels on your foods and avoid anything with lactolol, malitol, mannitol, xylitol, urethritol, isomalt, polydextrose, or sorbitol. And finally, keep moving during your recovery with gentle exercise, as this will also help to support your gut by keeping things moving on the inside. Of course, if you're ever concerned about the amount of bloating that you're experiencing, contact your fertility team to discuss. Now feel free to ask any questions in the comments box below. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you download my free fertility meal plan from melaniemcrice.com fertility. And make sure that you check out some of my other fertility videos on topics such as optimizing implantation and reducing the risk of miscarriage. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Is that right? Like to look? Yeah, I actually got the mic. Hyper. Variant. Hyper. Or. O. H. H.